Hey guys, today I will be going through Itzy's second mini It's Me. So I did get all versions, the It's Me and Wannabe version. So yes, and I also got the pre-order gifts as well, which are these right here. So we can go through these first. So we'll move this out of the way and I guess we can go through this one first. I can't remember if their first mini came with a pre-order gift that looked like this. I know we got the Dala Dala era photo book. Let me just pull my sleeves up. Okay, so I'm guessing the photo books are going to be the same. So it looks like it's probably a photo shoot of them in Paris. Oops. That's better. Change the angle. Paris is so pretty. Look at, oh, it looks so like historic and beautiful. Oh, I would love to visit there. Actually, my cousin um, went to Paris for his like school. Um, like he did like abroad schooling here in Paris. So um, yeah, that was really cool to just see him live there. It was like, it was really weird, but cool at the same time. He didn't like do a full year. It was just like a semester, but it was still really cool. Yeah, so I would definitely love to visit. They look like they had so much fun there, but not now, not during this time with the virus going on. <laughs> Cause like with the virus going on, my work is like trying to shut things down to keep everyone safe. It's like such a scary time. But when this is over, I would definitely love to visit Paris one day. Oh my God, look how cute Leah looks cooking. Actually all of them, so cute. <laughs> Oh, look at it. They look like pastry chefs. That's so cute. I'll talk about their comeback when I get into the actual album. We'll save that for looking through the album photo shoot. But for now, I will admire these super cute photos of them in Paris. Aw, they're so sweet. It may not seem like it, but I'm actually unboxing this late at night. So I have my studio lighting on and... Yeah, I probably could have like unboxed this during when it was kind of light out, but I had things to do when I got home from work, so yep, we are doing it now. I love Chaedong. I mean, I love them all. I'm OT5 biased, but I mean, if I had to pick a bias, it would be Chaedong, but I really do love all of the members. Epilogue. Okay, so that was the photo book, and this, I'm pretty sure the photo book's going to be the same for all the pre-order gifts, but this most likely is different. So it looks like they're just postcards. Here's Yeji. These are super nice. I would want to put them in my photo card binder as Leah. That's such a cute bun that she was wearing. Um, yeah, I would love to put this in my photo card binder, but uh, not too sure because they take up a lot of space, but they are super pretty. Oh man, I love all the girls so much. They're just goddesses. So we got those postcards. So the first time they did the pre-order gifts, they did like random, we'll do the orange one next. But I actually have a feeling, let's just like quickly flip through just to make sure that, oh yeah, it looks like it's the same. Yep, that's definitely the same. So um, here are the orange cards. So, um, okay, they're different. Yeah, so um, it seemed like with the, um, wanting to focus on Leah I don't blame the camera but um so what am I saying like it seems like the pre-order photo cards we got in their um it's icy album were supposed to be the Dala Dala photo cards but um they ended up not making a physical release for Dala Dala I'm thinking that's what that was about so that's why there's like no random photo card with this I'm just assuming so the plastics on albums are starting to be like really annoying because <laughs> they're just so annoying to get off sometimes. Last set of photos. Yeah, these are more like um, more like music video um, outfits, I guess, or like stage outfits. Speaking of that, their styling for this era is so pretty. I'm just in love with all of the outfits from this era. They're all so gorgeous. So cute! Oh, look at her. Oh my god, she's such a queen. Honestly, all of them are queens. I like love them all equally. That's why it was like really hard for me to pick a bias at first. 
All right, so we'll go through the black one first, which is the It's version. I'm just gonna go through the order in what I think is the correct order. So here is the front. Oh, look at their outfits. I'm just in love with the styling for this comeback, as I said already. There's the track list. Not only is this whole era amazing and the title track just flawless but this album is so good i literally loved every single song this is looking the title track is looking really weird here um so i loved like the first four tracks were like my favorites like the first half of the album is like my favorite <laughs> so i'm just obsessed it's me but the whole album was just flawless i have no critiques with this album okay oh there we go Ooh. so i don't think I'm guessing this might be random. I didn't really want to see this right now, but I got Yuna. She's so cute. That could be um, random. So yeah, it was on the back. I wasn't supposed to see that, but whatever. We saw it first. That's fine. I'll just make sure with the next version we don't see it. Um, let, let me take my cards out. It seemed like you got less cards with this album, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh yes, I remember when the teasers came out for this. I just thought they looked so pretty. I love this kind of hairstyle. This like, it kind of reminds me of like Ariana Grande hair almost. Like she always has her hair high up pony like this and it's super long, but it looks so absolutely stunning on Yeji. I just love their styling. I don't know, like these baggy pants and crop tops look so cute. They kind of remind me of like early 2000s like style, kind of like something like maybe Avril Lavigne would wear back in like 2003 or something, but with like an, um, a modern kind of touch to it, I guess. Not so like old school. I mean, I wouldn't really call that old school, but like early 2000s, if you know what I mean. I don't think I'm making any sense, but at the end of the day, I love it. So I also love this style too, where they wear like a bunch of, um, what are those called? Like uh, barrettes in their hair. That's really, really pretty. I don't know why I like that so much. Honestly, everyone, it's like everyone's era for me. This is every, this is OT5's era and I'm here for it. <laughs> I absolutely love Dujin's hair. It's so cute. I still prefer her pink hair for some reason. I thought the pink hair suited her very well. Um, but everyone is stunning. Every single member. I'm just obsessed with Itzy. I love them so much. There's Yeji's thanks too. And Leah's thanks too. Look how cute they look. Also, I love how they have that signature. You know, this is like their signature thing where they pose like that at the end of their choreo. It's like, I think it's like their thing. And I love that. I love that they have their kind of a thing. And I feel like Itzy have like this sound to them as well. And yeah, you know what? Itzy are really doing it for me. <laughs> I just really love this group. I am so glad that they debuted. Thank you, JYP, for just debuting this amazing girl group. It's funny because when Dalla Dalla first released, I wasn't like a huge fan of it. And now here I am just obsessing over Itzy and just loving all of their songs. Um, but also just to let you know that Dalla Dalla completely grew on me, like totally 100% grew on me. I love Dalla Dalla. It's funny, it just happens to me all the time. Look how cute Chae Dion looks. I don't know, like I just, I think she's the cutest little bean. Oh, look how good Liu Jin looks there. Uh, bored, I'm pretty sure that's literally everyone right now self-isolating because of the virus. Honestly, the virus could not have happened at a worse time because I feel like a whole bunch of concerts have been happening lately and it's just, they're all getting canceled left and right. It's not a good time right now. It's honestly not. Okay, so here's the CD. I feel like I talked too much in this, but I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm also not really sorry because I like talking a lot for some reason. Um, so yeah, we did see my random page was Yuna. And I think there's um, some unit cards with this album as well. Um, okay, you can't tell who it is on the back. Let's see who it is. I got Yuna again. Oh, that's such a pretty card. Oh, this is weird. The, the border doesn't like complete. It like stops. It goes out of the card that's different that's like a different kind of a border style i guess jyp was getting a little bit bored of the border styles i wanted to switch it up a bit <laughs> so i got yuna's card that's such a pretty card and i think the next one is the unit card i believe Ooh, okay here's the unit one i'm assuming i have seen unit cards around yes it is so i got the wow yuna is really liking me this comeback i got the yuna and yeji uh unit card look how cute yuna looks though oh my god and then yeji is just a freaking queen as always oh that's so cute honestly i love unit cards so much so i'm super happy with that next we'll go through the orange one which is the me version here it is 
they look so cute oh i meant to talk about this i guess we'll talk about it in this one but i do like that they switched up their packaging usually jyp has been very boring with his packaging oh okay let's not look at the hold on okay i took my thing out of here so we can save that as a surprise for last so i have not seen it the cards are right there, but I haven't seen them. Yeah, he, he tends to do the same packaging like over and over, especially for GOT7 and Stray Kids. You know, at least twice get like a bunch of different kind of packagings um, as far as I'm concerned um, or as far as I know. But um, it's just it's nice that they didn't give uh, Itsy the same packaging as their first mini because I mean, I don't mind that packaging. I like it. But for me personally, I like different packaging. I like when they switch it up all the time. And I know like when they're all the same, it does look really nice on the shelf and consistent. But just for me personally, I really like a switch up and a change every once in a while at least. So I'm glad about this change in packaging. Ooh, this photo book reminds me of Halloween just with the black and orange. Are these the same outfits though? I think so. Or not. I'm just, I just have a really bad memory. They're black and white, same with the first one. Honestly, Wannabe is just that song. Wannabe is that song. It is just so good. I just, I literally can't stop playing it. It's, I think it's my favorite um, title track by them. Well, I mean, they only have three title tracks, but um, I like, I didn't think anything would top Icy because I was one of those people that just loved Icy. People kept calling it a noise song and I don't get where people are, are getting that from. It, for me, it's not a noise song at all. It's so catchy. And it just brings me back to memories when I was in LA with Carolyn. We were just in the car and stuck in LA traffic, just like singing that song out loud. It was just at the time of my life. And I think that's another reason why I really like that song is just because it brings back really good memories for me. And that happens to me a lot, actually. When I really like a song, I think a big reason as to why I like the song is because it just brings back a lot of memories for me. And that's why I really like a bunch of like old or k-pop songs because it just brings back so many nostalgic memories for me because i've been a k-pop fan for many years so i just yeah <laughs> i won't go on about that but yeah so um i see is definitely like up there for me even like amongst all their b-sides and i think the b-sides on this album are really really good like i think this is probably my m number one favorite that's a no-no that's a really good song like so good honestly i think her ears are just so cute i don't know when her hair is up like this and you can see her little cute ears poking out, it's so cute and her little earrings. Also, I didn't know until like recently when um, Itzy went to America, but I didn't even know that Leah spoke like fluent English. I had no idea. But yeah. Here's the CD. Okay, so let's see who my big card thing is. Oh, oh no, I literally hate when this happens. Okay, that's fine. It's not bad. Let's see who it is. Oh, I got the group one. Okay, I didn't know that you could get the group one, but that's fine with me. Actually, I think this is one of my favorite photos from them, like during this era. They just look so cool. It's such a good photo. It's like, it would be such a good photo to put as like your lock screen or your wallpaper on your phone. <laughs> anyway, so we got that. And then here is my unit card. Let's see who this is. Cute. I got Yujin and Yeji. Aw, that's so cute. So yeah, the unit cards are like, I just hope to get like a bunch of different members. I mean, there's only five members, but we're hoping to maybe pull all the members in this. <laughs> and then my photo card, let's see who I got. I got Leah. Oh, she's such a queen with that bun. Oh, I love the, um, the little pearls in her bun that makes her look so royal and just very, very like pretty and like a queen <laughs> oh and i love her choker necklace too honestly i'm so happy with this <laughs> i'm going to be happy with whoever i get because i just love all of the members so that was that and very lastly we have the wannabe version so here it is front and the back oh this is much easier to read the checklist no actually i think nobody like you is probably my favorite i think no nobody like you might be my favorite yeah no that's such a good song sorry i like kind of blanked but yeah oh hold on i took my random member or possibly group photo out of here and my photo cards where are you took the photo cards out so we'll go through the photo book it's me also i love the choreo to wannabe as well they just look fierce and i'm here for it i'm here for everything with the sarah 
I ordered this on Catch Up CD, so um, I obviously didn't pre-order it, but luckily Catch Up CD is really good with pre-order gifts, so I was able to get the pre-order gifts. And it's the reason why I'm kind of unboxing this so late because I didn't get it with like super fast shipping. Um, I, I actually would do that if couriers were able to um, like send stuff to PO boxes in Canada, but it's just not a thing, so I had to order this with regular EMS. But that's okay. Um, hopefully, like, the mail won't completely stop because of the COVID-19, coronavirus, whatever you want to call it. Um, my country is still accepting packages from Korea and, like, out of the country, so that's good. Um, so I'm able to still receive things, but hopefully it doesn't worsen for us over here where I am in Canada. Um, where, like, where I live in Canada, it's not as bad as other places in Canada, so I am thankful for that, but, um... Yeah, so I'm really, really happy my Itzy albums made it to me because if these didn't make it to me during this time, I would be pretty sad because I feel like I already had to wait super long for this because I sent them through regular EMS. I mean, I know a lot of people don't use EMS and use the cheaper shipping than that, so I won't be like, oh, this took super long because it didn't, but <laughs> when you just love a comeback so much, you feel like it, it just took years to get to you, even though it didn't. I feel like I'm rambling about random stuff and I feel like a lot of these photos are the same and I'm just not even realizing. <laughs> Honestly, I need that pin because that's my life. Actually, I'm not ever really bored, I guess, but just just don't even try and make sense of what I'm saying. I'm talking nonsense and I was super sad yesterday when I lost my, my hat. So I had like this favorite hat. I went on like a rant on Instagram like... I'm gonna start crying about it when I think about it. I lost my favorite hat and someone stole it when I had dropped it on the ground. I like I went back to trace my steps to find it and and it was fresh. I had just realized like I'm not gonna go on about it because I will probably cry. But <laughs> anyways, um, so here is my random member card and oh, yes, okay, we got my bias. <laughs> I'm really happy about this. I'll be happy with anyone, but. It's just extra cool to get my bias. So we got Taeryeong's uh, big photo. Oh, she's so pretty, honestly. She is like the cutest like human being ever. Don't at me. I think she's the cutest human being ever. <laughs> okay, so let's take out the unit card. So here is the photo card. Oh no, I got the same one. Okay, so that kind of sucks, but this, um, it's fine. I mean, trading might be a bit difficult now with the virus going around. A lot of people don't really want to trade during this time, but if anyone wants to trade, preferably for a unit card that um, has a number that I didn't pull, like Chaeryong unit cards, but yeah, I'll see what I can get. So that's up for trade. And let's see who my member photo card is. And I got Leah again. She's so cute. Look at her little smile. She kind of looks like Jenny there from Blackpink. Ooh, her, man, she has the cutest accessories. Her choker, oh my god, I love that so much. With I love the chains on it. Oh, that's, oh, just look how cute she is. Honestly, this is making me really want to collect Itzy. Please don't do it, Katie. People have been, like, telling me, like, Katie, you have to collect Itzy. And I'm like, oh my god, I don't know if I want to, but I love them so much. And now these cards are making me really want to collect them. But I don't know about it. But um, anyways, we got Leah's card. She's such a freaking queen. And yeah, that's everything. So pretty much everyone liked me, but but Ryujin, because I only pulled her here, but actually Ryujin and Taeryeong weren't a huge fan of me, but everyone else kind of liked me, so anyways, that was everything though, uh, that was my unboxing of Itzy, It's Me, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching, bye!